This video will describe the intake process for iSETS. When you have logged in to your iSETS account and find the iSETS group, click that. It will take you to your customer list. Then you will click on the button that says search IES customer to find out if the customer that you want to intake is eligible for ENT services on IES. You'll need to enter a first name and a last name and then one of the following data points, date of birth, case number, or individual number. Now I've entered the case number and I'm going to click the blue button search IES customer. If your customer's eligibility is not current, you will get the notification that you can complete the application for iSETS and then potentially help your customer or help them through the eligibility process. So you can then continue to search for an iSETS account after you make sure that the bottom information is available. If there is no email address, you will want to click that button so that it fills in that information. If there is no account, it will be created. You'll get a username and password and it will tell you the status. If you happen to be super admin or workforce development staff, you will be able to assign this person to a provider for a program and the provider agency. Then the agency provider, the provider agency, will complete the assessment process. From here you will go to the assessments and complete the assessments no matter what the intake process is. Now let's search an IES customer that may be eligible right away. We're going to search the IES customer, fill in the first and last name and one of the data points and then click search. We have returned a match. We do have an email address. This email address is case sensitive so we do want to make sure that we type in the balance of that information with the proper capitalization. And then we will click search for iSETS account. If there is more than one iSETS account already in the system, you will be triggered to select one or the other or create a brand new account. We're going to use this one at the Charleston, Illinois address. We're going to select that. It gives us the opportunity to make edits and confirm the email address, add a phone number, select and correct the address and zip code, and then we will be able to continue. Once you have all the information filled in, click continue. It is creating the account. It is letting me as a super admin assign the program. If you are a regular provider or regular DHS staff, you will need to complete at least the initial assessment before you can continue and complete a referral. Once you have assigned the customer, you may see the SNAP status pop up, which will tell you when the universal assessment was completed and what the status of that participant is. I'm going to search a customer as a regular provider right now. Search IES customer. We're going to add the first and last name and one of the data points and then click the blue search for IES customer. It found the customer. I do not have an email address for this customer. So I'm going to click the no email address. It creates a temporary email address so that you as a provider can help that customer. Now we're going to search for an iSETS account. It created the username. It created the password with the last name and the sixth digit date of birth as the temporary password. 
and now we're going to search for assessments. We can then complete the universal assessment, complete the assessment process, and make a referral to another provider or a reverse referral to DHS. Thanks for watching.